Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Jamie Gross. Um, I am the founder of Smart Apparel, SMRT. Uh, that name comes from an old episode of The Simpsons, if you uh, recollect. That was about 20 years ago, called Homer Simpson Goes to College. Um, before I tell you about Smart Apparel, a little bit about me. Um, I started my career as a fine artist. I got into illustration. From there, I got into design. Uh, down that rabbit hole, I got into computer science and programming, learning languages like C-sharp, ASP.NET. I'm the creative director of Rio Grande Jewelry Supply. I'm also the co-founder of another great startup called Por Vida Coffee Roasters. So about smart apparel, S-M-R-T. That's OK. Um, so our goal is to make a smarter shirt. So you've heard of smartphones. You've heard of smart watches. You've heard of, heard of smart houses. Um, those are things that have taken technology and injected it into that thing, making it a little bit smarter. Our idea was, why not make a smart shirt, but rather than injecting technology into that thing, let's, let's enrich that shirt through smarter content, through a better quality shirt. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit more on how we came up with that content. First, I'm going to talk about a story here. This is my daughter, Amelia. She's seven years old. She likes art. She likes reading. She loves Minecraft like every other seven-year-old out there. Um, Amelia is what you would consider a very, very smart individual. She does really well in school. She does really well in mathematics and reading. And like most parents, we asked Amelia that question, that ever-burning question, what do you want to be when you grow up? And Amelia responded, I'm already an artist. I don't need to be anything else, which is the most profound answer I have ever heard in my life, right? How can you be so mindful at seven years old? Amelia is incredibly smart. Now I'd like to introduce you to her little brother, Bram. This is this uh, curly-haired chap right here. So you know, let me go and point him out. He is four years old. He likes building. He loves corn dogs. He loves Pokemon Go. I remember when he was just able to walk, he was building Lego towers far above his head. Bram has the most incredible sense of humor on a child I've ever seen. We asked Bram this same question, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he looked at us with this face, and he said, um, I think I want to be a walnut. <laughs> And just for clarification, this is half of a walnut, but this is our son, the walnut. Bram is also very, very smart, very, very intelligent. But as a society, we value sort of one form of intelligence over many others. And so this has become the foundation of all of our categories at Smart Apparel, is how can we make a smarter shirt that values and, and increases this forms of intelligence through the content. We dug in a little bit deeper. There was a psychologist uh, in the 80s called Howard Gardner, and he actually identified nine different types of intelligences. And he said, what we value are the intelligences that we learn in school or those school-like activities, but it leaves little room for musical intelligence, spatial intelligence, interpersonal intelligence, um, and so on. So I'm going to show you, and it's really hard to see here, but these are the nine forms over here. And I'll just kind of go from top to bottom. Here's all of our categories on the left. Um, and as I walk through them, we have nat nature smart, sound smart, um, number smart, which is uh, what we value as a society, um, life smart, people smart, body smart, word smart, self smart, and picture smart. So these became our categorization, but it's also our very niche customer segments. I'm wearing a shirt right now. It's Marcus Aurelius, one of my favorite philosophers ever. And there's very, very passionate people about that are into Marcus Aurelius. And they're on Facebook. They're on Instagram. Um, so through May through August, we were founded in May. We had this idea in May. Um, I had no idea how to screen print. I'm not a screen printer. I'm a computer science art geek. So I partnered up with a local screen printing company called Dark Odezo. They do uh, B2B type screen printing. They also sell on Etsy. Um, so they're, they're hand printing all of my t-shirts as orders come in, and we save every single screen. Um, we initially launched our site on Etsy. Um, after the initial, initial launch in May, we decided Etsy isn't really the right fit for us, so we migrated all of that traffic to a custom e-commerce site that we built. Um, 
In May, I designed over 200 unique designs. It was a very busy month for me. I was up very late nights designing these things, all in these nine categories. Um, we launched primarily on the back of Instagram. I have had zero marketing dollars to invest in this. Instagram is a free platform. And also, like I said before, with these categories, I could get very targeted with these hashtags and, and bring in those followers. Um, one commonality I, I found between all of, all of our followers is they love reading books. Smart people just love reading. That's just what it is. Um, we have about 1,000 followers on Facebook. Um, Facebook we, we primarily use for advertising. We tried Google Ads. Uh, that was an epic failure. We spent some money in that arena because Google Ads, um, if you know, it's, it's all query-based. So it's what people are searching. Uh, there's not a lot of people saying, find me a Marcus Aurelius t-shirt. But there is huge Marcus Aurelius groups on Facebook. There's huge nature groups on face Facebook that you could target because it's interest-based. So that's really how we, we bridge that gap there. Um, and, you know, we've launched it. We put a, ourselves in a new facility since uh, business is increasing. We're down on, on 4th Street right now. Um, so let me flip through some of our designs. And it's kind of difficult to see, but I'll go ahead and go back. Uh, we do things that I particularly love, like Henry David Thoreau. I'm a portrait painter. And then we have uh, Call Me Ishmael. So all of our designs are also in one color. And we stick to very neutral uh, blank t-shirts. Um, multiple colors, more overhead, decreases our margin. We want to increase that speed of how, how often we print. We give a five-day lead time when orders come in to get these things made. Um, and what we found, too, is shirts like this with text actually perform better than shirts that I've taken the time to, to hand illustrate. Um, and I think it's all about based on that content, that message. is It's really easy to deliver that message if it's, it's text-based. Okay, so what's next for Smart Apparel? Um, Smart Apparel for us um, is, a, is a company that's going to continue to grow. It's a, it's a brand. It's a lifestyle brand. We, we're uh, steadily increasing our sales every single day, our Instagram followers, etc. But really, it's become this proof of concept for us on what we can do, my partners and I. So, and this is really the ask of this group, is we've taken a brand from zero to a profitable in a, in a few months. We've grown a, an Instagram following. We've developed a whole product line. And we think that there's a lot of value in that for other brands, for other artists, to show exactly how we did this. A lot of these techniques were growth hacking techniques. With zero dollars to spend, how did we get some traffic to our sites? Um, so we're looking at maybe including some retail space into that, taking that experience not only online, but featuring artists in a retail space, in a retail environment, and enabling artists to sell through what we have and have done with Smart, extending our other some services, so um, social media services, marketing services, essentially growth hacking type services. Um, and really hoping to form what's next for Smart, not just a t-shirt company, but a new breed of marketing agency. And I think marketing is, in, in lieu of what like, people say, it's still, it's still big, it's a way of communicating, and I think it's on its third wave, much like coffee, much like beer. Marketing is just changing itself and including all of these different experiences, including baking that marketing into the product itself. So. That is my presentation. Here is my contact information, and hopefully I can take some questions now. Thank you. Thanks,